Island. Good morning, Celebration. How you doing today? Happy Thanksgiving. Can y'all believe it? it's already the 20th of November? Time's flying, is it not? My wife says the first day of October, the end of the year is here. <laughs> That's about the way it works. Let's stand together. We're going to open up with a word of prayer. Scripture tells us to give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Amen. And His mercy Amen. endureth forever. forever. Let's try that again. <laughs> give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. And, and His mercy endureth forever. forever. Amen. Father, we come to you this day. We want to thank you for celebrating. To celebrate he The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. To reign. You reign. You reign. Forever King of all. Forever King. The Lord reigns, let the people clap their hands. Hey, to shout, the Redeemer has come to dance. To celebrate, to celebrate, he reigns. The Lord reigns, the Lord reigns, the Lord reigns. The king is on his throne. Now and for 
as he reigns, we've got good news to share. Yes, we do. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is Come because on. he reigns. That's right. Amen. No matter what's going on, Amen. he gives us this good news yes, to share. Amen. Amen. still comes in the morning, hope still walks with the hurting, you're still alive and breathing, praise the Lord. Don't stop dancing and dreaming, it's still good news worth repeating, so lift your head. Don't 
Good to have you with us. Brenda, good to have you. Soraya and David, good to have you as well. Andre, good to have you on here too. God bless you. Your brand new, the power of death 
cannot hold you. Can't you hear the voice of Jesus calling us out from the grave like that? Rise up, take a breath. Rise up,
Pour out our praise, it's your 
we pour out our praise in your presence in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise in your presence in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise in your presence in our lungs. So we pour out. Oh. 
and Mary greeted them. That's why you're here today. I'm your joy. I'm your strength. You wonder why are you still here? You're here because of me. You're mine. very time in history. You feel like your past is just, that's it, your life's over. There are people God has for you to touch, and you're the one that's going to do it. You're on divine I had a miracle this morning. I woke up and took a breath. I took a breath. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that you've had today. The Lord looked at you and he said, Danya, rise up. Sandy, rise up. Joel, rise up. Donald, rise up. Breathe. And he breathed life into each one of us. We're miracles walking this earth. We're miracles of God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. We're here by divine appointment. For some, he created us to walk this earth right now. All the time of history we could have been born. But God said, no, now. Now. My wife and I, were having more divine appointments. It's amazing what God's doing. Something as simple as going around a building, and all of a sudden you run into a divine appointment Amen. from heaven above. God says, look for the divine appointments. You'll catch someone out of the corner of your eye. It may be something that they're wearing that just... You go, wow, and all of a sudden it's that person. It's someone you've been praying for, and God's brought your paths together. He said, children, look for me. Look for me. Look for divine appointments from me. He says, prepare yourselves, for I'm getting ready to put people in your path that you have not seen for ages. I'm getting ready to put people in your path that you haven't seen for 20 years, 30 years, I'm going to place them in your path so that you can share my love and my mercy and my grace with them. They'll say, what you been doing? And you'll go, oh, let me tell you. And it'll be a word of life that they need to hear at that very moment. It's in Him we live. It's in Him we move. It's in Him we have our being. Stand to your feet for a moment. Close your eyes if you're able to stand. And if you're able to close your eyes. It's your breath in my lungs, Lord. So I pour out my praise to you. 
It's your breath in me, Lord. That's why I'm alive. And I declare your greatness, Lord, until you come. I'll tell the world all about you. I'll shout your praises. I'll declare the greatness of my God. I'll tell them of the marvelous works that you have done in my life, Lord. Oh, use me. You say, whom? He says, whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And we say, here am I, Lord. Here am I. Send me. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will rise. These bones will sing. All the earth. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will rise. These bones will sing. The Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. It's His breath in my lungs. It's His breath in my lungs. It's in you. I live and move and have my being, Lord. It's all about you. It always has been and always will be, Lord. That's your desire. It's about you, Jesus. You're the only one that can save. You're the only one that can deliver, Lord. You came to set the captive free. And we thank you, Jesus. I thank you for all my brothers and sisters that we're all gathered together today to declare your greatness, Lord. It's all about you. Pleasing it is. When brethren dwell together in unity, it's like oil being poured on Aaron's head, down upon his robes and the tassels. It says in your word, Lord, that it is there that you command the blessing. Amen. It's there that you speak and it happens. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your presence. Father, as we pay our tithes and give our offerings today, it's all about you. Jesus, thank you for coming to this earth. Thank you for dying for the sins of each and every woman, every man, every child. You gave your life for us. You're the only begotten Son. And we thank you. We thank you that you've conquered hell, you've conquered death, you've conquered the grave. We thank you, Lord Jesus, you've restored us back to the Father. And we can cry, Abba, Father. 
We thank you that you've made us join heirs with you in your inheritance. And we know that everything was created by you and for you. But you came and you, your inheritance are the nations. Every man, every woman, every child that has ever lived or walked upon the face of this earth. That's why you came. And we know that right now men, women, and children are gathered around the throne and they're worshiping you in spirit and truth. They're shouting your praises, Lord. And if that's what heaven looks and sounds like right now, we the church, we the body of Christ on this earth, we ought to look and sound like heaven, Lord. So we declare to the winds of the four corners of the earth, give up those that are coming to the kingdom of God. And they come running to you with glad and sincere hearts. And Lord, we declare the doors of celebration thrown open wide. And Lord, souls to your kingdom. Each and every day of our lives we share love, mercy, and grace of Jesus Christ with a world that doesn't know you. And Lord, we'll grow together in the things of your kingdom. And we'll share your love with this world. Now, Lord Jesus, our nation is needing a mighty outpouring of your Spirit. Father, we pray right now for those in authority over us. We pray for the President, the Vice President, the Congress, the Cabinet, the Supreme Court. We pray for all those in state office, all our governors. We pray for Governor Cooper and all the other governors. We pray for all those in local authorities, Lord. We pray for those that have been voted into office and those that will be leaving office. We pray for all of them in their households that all would be born again by the blood of Jesus, that all would be baptized with your sweet Holy Spirit. And may the Word of God be a lamp to all of our feet and a light unto all of our paths. And may we, may we walk a highway of holiness together. We pray for our families, Lord. Yes. As Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But we also plead the blood of Jesus over our heritage. We declare a bloodline around our heritage. We declare every sickness, every yeah. disease, yeah. you must be gone away from our heritage. Flu is destroyed in Jesus' name. Jesus. Virus is destroyed in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. As we give, it's given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. That men and women, they pour back into our lives so that we can give again. We call souls to your kingdom. We declare yokes lifted, burdens removed, addictions destroyed. But above everything, the name of Jesus is lifted up and exalted and glorified. And souls, souls, souls come running to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. You're free to come and give.
the Lord a hand of praise. Amen, amen, amen. First of all, my bride and I, we would like to thank y'all for the wonderful Pastor Appreciation yes. Day. What a blessing. That, that oh. luncheon and she's yes. just time together with our precious family. Absolutely. Here, and y'all just Bless our hearts so much. Yes, you it's do. It's just so good to be together with y'all. And it is. The beautiful things that you've shared, the delicious food. I mean, that's been coming even beyond, even beyond the luncheon. Y'all been sending delicious Amen. food uh, to the house, but just uh, such a sweet time. We love y'all so much. Tony, did the chicken and dumplings I ever tell run you out? What? You can just open up. <laughs> <laughs> those were so so good. I kept looking in those chicken and dumplings, and they were about that deep. And I would go, and I'd get some more, and somebody else would go get some more, and they were still that <laughs> deep. Like, Lord, just keep <laughs> multiplying them. I don't think they ever ran out. No, but Amen. it was an awesome time. We thank you for all the cards. We thank you Amen. for your prayers. Yes. Thank you for your gifts as well. We Amen. love y'all so much. Y'all, y'all are family. Absolutely. Every one of you have a place in our heart. We love you so dearly. Amen. 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 And we're wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. As you know, this Wednesday we won't have midweek no. service. We'll be, we'll all be preparing for Thanksgiving, yes. and so we'll see you next Sunday. But have a very blessed, beautiful Thanksgiving. And then we start kicking things off. But do want to share, Sandy, the two hundred boxes. They are going. They are Every gone. Every last Every one, one of them. Every one of them. Amen. Celebration. Hallelujah. They are all being shipped today. Would you like to share anything, Sandy? Uh, 
If there are any others that you want shipped, let us know. And we want everything that you've prepared to, to go to those children. And thank Amen. you, Sandy. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Monica. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Sherry. Right. There's a group of y'all in Dole who get, got them all loaded up. <laughs> no, the so Wednesday thank night crew. Thank you for doing it. And, and I do want to thank each of you. Uh, as of Thursday, we had just a little over half paid for. Okay. And I mean, that went, okay, going over on Saturday, we're going to start boxing up and and I thought, okay, we'll leave with this box up of 114. I yeah. mean, if that's yeah. it. But <laughs> Cindy <laughs> come in today and showing me the spreadsheet. Given, if yes. there's any extra or if you'd like to still give, please do. Yes. And I will go back there, and I promise you, I will build whatever boxes we need <laughs> before, <laughs> before Dole takes them over to, oh, to our, right. the church that that yes. collects in the area. Yes. But God bless each of you. I thank God over yes. and over. Amen. <laughs> I have cried all morning. Oh. Have you seen that? Yes. God often, the first time he said to me, you just see what I will do. Amen. Amen. And every year he says, you see what I'll do. Well, this year I'd say, no, God, <laughs> is that what you, he wouldn't say anything to it this year. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I got to grow up a little bit and just trust him. Because I, I see his glory, and I see his honor. Yes. And that day, you will see those children yes. in heaven. Yes. You will see yes. their parents in heaven. Amen. You will, because they will take the word of God and go forth where you and I can't go. But God, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And amen. then everybody start looking at your bulletin and pull, filling in your calendar, because as you know, Crystal and I have always said, once October 1st hits, zoom! <laughs> Cindy and I have talked about it too. October 1st, from then forward, the year just starts flying yeah, on supersonic does. speed. But we've got the women's Christmas party coming up. We've got the church Christmas luncheon coming up. We have our Christmas program coming up. Amen. So there is so much for you to get involved in. Also, we will... Uh, be doing the um, angel tree. Yes. I'm sure in coming weeks we'll get some information on that. that information. We always want tell us, tell us. Yes. yes. All right, men, don't forget December 3rd, Saturday, 815 at Granny's Kitchen. We're all coming together. Amen. Amen. All right, if, you, Amen. if you're feeling dull, you're feeling down, you just want fellowship, Amen. it's been a long time we've been locked up with COVID. So uh, yeah. Iron we sharp want you iron. to come out. And youth, y'all are young men, all right? Yes. Show Amen. up. We're, Show up. We're expecting you guys there, too. Amen. We want every guy in the church to come Amen. out. Bring a friend if you want to. Yep. If Amen. it's more than we reserved, we'll just overflow. And bless That's you. right. <laughs> That's right. Bless the restaurant. We're going to move it around probably different restaurants every month. Amen. We'll try and once a month just to get us together. We come on the 3rd to kind of squeeze it in before the holidays. Yep. Get crazy, hectic yeah. for everybody, all right? So please come join us, Amen. and let's just um, sharpen ourselves. Amen. All right? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we go into special Amen. music, uh, we had been praying for someone, not at liberty to say who they are or anything, but we had been praying for someone, and you shared the testimony about your brother. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Brother -in -law, last yes. week. And um, this individual... Uh, Probably about five months ago, they were going through a similar situation. Yeah. Uh, the doctors had proclaimed one thing. Uh, there was growth in their body, and uh, it was going to be a rigid uh, doing this, doing this, and yeah. whatnot. And they went back to uh, meet with their doctor uh, this past week, Thursday. this past Thursday. And the doctor, in doing an examination, said, it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> it's and gone. the doctor looked at him and said, "That you did the radiation. Yes, I did the radiation. Did, you didn't do the chemo, did you? No, I didn't do the chemo. And they said, there's just a little tiny rough spot where it was. And but it's gone. He's gone. It's gone. <laughs> and uh, he said, I want you to come back in a month, and we're going to do an MRI to make sure the rest of your body's clean. And uh, 
So we just shout and praise yes, with that family. Amen. Yes. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's a miracle working God. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Dana. Amen. Come right ahead. Amen. Good morning, celebration. Good, Good morning. morning. Don't forget, as they said, the Christmas program is coming up. I really, really, I, I, some of y'all kind of slip out before I get you on Sundays, but I need to talk to everyone who is going to be, um, uh, as much as possible, who's going to give their testimony. I also want to talk to people who are, um, you know, to see how things are going on with their special music. Um, we're going to have some ministry by the young people. Amen. Um, the, uh, with, um, let's see, uh, Christina is going to have... Um, a ministry with Flag and the, the younger children and whoever, but everybody, okay. Youth are going to be doing something. And so yeah. this is really a family. It is. A family time to get together yeah. and celebrate the Lord and give our gifts and our love and our attention to him. Amen. And so what I need to do is I just kind of need kind of a status check on where everybody is. And I want to say today that we need to practice. We need everybody to be here for a rehearsal so we can see how things are going to go. The Saturday before, I think the Saturday, uh, are, are we going to do it on the 18th, December yeah, 18th? I think that's Isn't that the date? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, December the 17th, we need to have a run through of everybody. But I want to talk, I want to touch base with you guys, you know, a couple of times before then. Don't, don't feel afraid to ask questions or to run something by me. Okay? Thank Amen. You. Cindy? Thank you, Dana. Appreciate that. Pastor Satan. <laughs> um, I'm not going to talk about Angel Tree Children this Sunday, but I will next Sunday. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. But I wanted to share about divine appointments. We had the bicycle. And, Pastors, I haven't yeah. told you the other part of this. Oh. We had the bicycle drawing for uh, Hallelujah Harvest, and we give away, for the past few years, we give away a boy's bicycle and a girl's bicycle. Mm. This year, the boy's bicycle went to Ethan. <laughs> he is, <laughs> and here's the God thing about it. He's the only one out of his, he and, he and his two brothers that did not have a bicycle. Oh, <laughs> oh, praise God. God. Oh. And the girl's bicycle, I had a hard time getting in touch with her. She came from Hickory. Wow. And when she called me Friday and said, we want to come pick up the bicycle and ask her for directions. And she said, well, my boyfriend said he used to go to your church. I said, really? So I gave him directions. I got here. Turns out he used to be in our youth about 10 years ago. Wow. And wow. came, and I remember him getting saved. Oh. But you just see how that was a divine Yes, appointment. that divine was. Appointment. I would not have recognized him. Wow. But God knew. Yeah. And it's just awesome to see how God works in just even the little things. Amen. 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 God's on the move. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Amen. Philip brought this beautiful song to us entitled Gratitude. And it is so appropriate as we're going into this week of thanksgiving and this beautiful season of the year, as our hearts are so full of gratitude and thankfulness. Amen. Amen. All my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I? Bye. 
have nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing hallelujah hallelujah I've got one response I've got just one shy on me lift up your song you have a lion inside of those lungs get up and praise the lord don't you get shy on me lift up your song because you got a lion inside of your lungs get up and praise the lord Thank you so much, worship ministry. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. Uh, children are dismissed to Children's Church, and wanted to share a couple of things with you this morning. I know uh, years ago, when the Lord, before He brought Pastor Vanjie and I to such a school, there were four of us on campus. It was summertime. 
four of us on the entire campus. I never saw the other three. Summer school was over with, and uh, I was just working, working crazy long hours, going in at 3.30 and 4 in the morning, and of course getting off at 3.30 in the afternoon, and then I was at home and I was in bed. And the next thing I knew, it was dark, and time to go back to bed <laughs> so I could get up early. But I can remember the Lord speaking to me in, in that time, and I told God, I said, God, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. No matter what you want to do in my life, I'm going to live to serve you. As I was planning and asking the Lord to give me some direction, as God only does, He took me to Ephesians, and uh, He was speaking to me. Let me just read to you for a second. It says, this is from the Amplified for those that have your Bibles. It says, Paul, an apostle, a special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ, Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed, by the will of God, that is, by his purpose and choice, to the saints, God's people, who are at Ephesus, and they are faithful and loyal and steadfast in Christ Jesus. And I just... I kept going back over and over and over that. And God's saying to God's people that are faithful, loyal, steadfast, grace to you, peace for men are calm, and spiritual well-being from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed and worthy of praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. And the Lord kept me thinking back over and over and over that. Blessed are, uh, are we who have every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. The world's full of naysayers. The world's full of people who don't believe in the Lord. Want to ridic- People will accuse you what they are guilty of. Because sin looks for a companion. Sin longs for a companion. So the enemy will tell you you're guilty of this or you're guilty of this because Whomever it is that's pointing the finger, because sin's a lonely place. Are you hearing me? But the Lord says here that we are blessed with every spiritual gift in the heavenly realm. Now, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, they had come to him and they said, Master, John has taught his disciples Lord, teach us. And he said, when you pray, say our Father which is in heaven, holy, hallowed is your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done right here on earth, just as it is in heaven. We have been giving, given every, say every, oh, say it louder than that, every. Every spiritual blessing that God has. And Jesus told us to pray, Your kingdom come from heaven to this earth. Well, there's only one way that the kingdom comes. God brings it. But God inhabits the praises of His people. And in this, of course, every year Christmas sneaks up on us. It comes really fast. And I was sitting and I was going, okay, we got the 4th of December, and then we got the 11th, oh my goodness, and I started adding it up, and I'm going, my goodness, we only got two weekends that aren't full in the remainder of December, because Christmas is on a Sunday. And we're planning that we will have a online 
Sunday morning time of doing uh, doing communion together because we know that families are full and there are things going on and people getting with family. And that's what we're looking at doing so that everyone can continue on with their family but that we could have communion together. And I said, Lord, so what is it that you're wanting to show us concerning the blessing? He told me to go over to the book of Isaiah. Turn with me, if you will, the ninth chapter of the book of Isaiah. One of my teachers in Bible college, Sister Bruce, Isaiah, turn to Isaiah chapter number 9. And it's talking about the birth and the reign of the Prince of Peace. Look here in verse number 1. But there will be no more gloom for her who is in anguish, for with judgment comes the promise of salvation. In earlier times, he treated the land of Zebulun and the land of Nephali with contempt. But later on, he will make them honored by the presence of Messiah. By the way of the sea on the other side of Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who walk in spiritual darkness will see a great light. Those who live in the dark land, the light will shine on them. Yes, O God, will increase the, the nation. You will multiply their joy. They will rejoice before you like the joy and jubilation of the harvest. As men rejoice when they divide the spoil of victory, for you will break the yoke of Israel, burden, and the staff, the goad, on their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, as at the battle of Midian. For even every boot of the marching warrior in the battle of Tumut, and every soldier's garment rolled in blood will be used for burning fuel for the fire. For to us a child shall be born, to us a son shall be given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. There shall be no end to the increase of his government and peace. He shall rule on the throne of David over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness. From that time forward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. I love that last. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. Lord, you're wanting heaven to come to earth. For us, unto us a child is born. For unto us a child is born. And to us a son shall be given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. Not just the government of a nation, but the government of... We live in a time, there's craziness in this world. There's craziness all the way around the globe. Not many of us, unless you read the news yesterday, even realized that we sent fighter bombers and fighter jets to fly near North Korea two days ago. North Korea sending long-range missiles and then blowing them up into the Sea of Japan but missiles that could have reached the United States. Our administration said, let's send them a reply. And they sent bombers carrying nuclear weapons and fighter jets towards North Korea so that they could know that there is a response to what they are doing. This is happening around the globe. But the government of this earth is upon the shoulders of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
But it takes us a step further because we're believing God to show forth His glory in this day. We're not only going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living, we're going to see the glory of God in the land of the living. We're going to see God showing up in ways that we do not understand or have never seen before. I believe there will be limbs that will grow back miraculously. I believe that God will do supernatural beyond what we could ask or think. In the Philippines, Norm and I saw miraculous miracles saw God destroy a gorder this big on a man's neck, and it disappeared before our eyes as we were praying for him. We saw blind eyes open. We saw people that were mute speak. We serve a miracle-working God. But the Lord takes us a step further here, and not only does he tell us That means he has all power and all authority over everything he rules. But it says that his name shall be called Wonderful. When you go into the Hebrew, it is the word Pele. And it comes from the root word to be wonderful. To cause wonderful. To cause wonderful things to happen. One who fulfills a vow. He said to the prophet that the glory of the Lord will be seen throughout all the earth, just as the waters cover the seas. That means every square inch of this earth will see the glory of the Lord. They will see the wonderfulness of our God. They will see the wonder of our God. His name shall be called Wonderful. Not just Wonderful, but Wonderful Counselor. So He is not only one who does cosmic wonders or historical achievements on behalf of His people, the things that are usually beyond human capability. That doctor the other day for Chris's brother-in-law, but that doctor the other day for our friend, that doctor saw a wonder. There was nothing in the natural that had been done that the only thing that could have possibly happened was shrinking what was growing in this person's body. But that doctor goes in and saw a wonder. It was gone, just as it was gone. But he is a wonderful counselor. The word counselor in the Hebrew is Yaas, and it means the first occurrence of Yaas was when Jethro sees the tremendous burden of of Moses and says, I will give you counsel, and God then gives him an an organizational plan on what to do with the people and how to take the people. But in this process, Jethro could only give in part because Jethro saw in part. Jethro did not know that there would be a cloud that they would follow. Jethro did not know that there would be fire from heaven and the people would bask in the heat of the fire of heaven at night and walk in the cloud of God during the day. Now, you don't have to be exceedingly smart to understand that if a cloud shows up in the desert, you're going to stay under the cloud. Hello? In the desert can get extremely cold. And if there's fire at night, you're going to stay under the heat of the fire at night. 
But we must understand that God wants understanding of the wisdom that is given. The Lord is eternal, and He stands forever. The enduring character of our God, He is a counselor. A plan is grounded in the unchangeability of our God in Himself. So when God speaks, it will not change. He is a wonderful counselor. He gives unchanging knowledge. What God says is, Lord, He taught me this a long time ago. Let Him show it to me. Because God is so awesome that He can take you to the exact page, the exact word, that God is desiring to do in my life and in your life. God, show me your will. Now, if you're saying, God, show me your word, He will make it known. I told you last week, one of my favorite passages in the Scripture is Jeremiah 33.3. Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. You know them not. And God will show us. Lord, give me guidance. One word from God will change a life. This individual that we were praying with concerning a miracle coming to their lives, they were standing on a very specific scripture that God had given. And God so did this miracle, he can take it down to the very day that it happened in his body. He knew when it went through his body, and he said, I am healed. And it happened at this time, on this day, when this was taking place. And the manifestation of it had already happened But the understanding of what had already happened didn't show up until four months later when it was verifiable what had taken place. We must understand that He is the counselor that does not change, but He remembers the former things of past, and He is God and there is no other. That is one thing I believe in the days that lie ahead for us as believers. That we will have to walk this earth declaring, You are God and there is no other. You are God. You are the one who gives counsel. You are the one who gives direction. I will follow no other except you. I will live by the word of God, and what you say is what shall be for me and my house. Are you hearing me today? He is the wonderful counselor. He is also the mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is the chief. He is the most powerful. But not only the most powerful, he is the most powerful warrior. The most powerful warrior. For 27 years, we got to keep hearing from my mom saying, and the doctor, and we love the doctor that did her surgery. But he told us, he said, she may not come off the operating table. And we knew that mom would be back. But mom had a vision on that table. I believe God opened her eyes into the heavens. And she saw the angels of God fighting the demonic spirit. And there was a war going on over her body. And all of a sudden, one of the angels said, Look, the captain of the host and said a sword came down and went, and as soon as it happened, she heard, Peggy, can you hear us? Can you hear us, Peggy? 
And she knew that not only was it done for that moment, but it was done completely. Radiation, they never did chemotherapy. They never did anything because they didn't expect her to live. She showed them 27 years. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty warrior. We must invite him into the battle. He must be the captain of the host that fights the battle. He declares the battle is not yours. The battle is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. He is the mighty God. But he is also the prince of peace. He is the prince. He is with all authority that has been given to him. He is the prince of peace. He is the prince of shalom. He is the prince of nothing missing, nothing broken. He's the prince. He deserves honor. He deserves adoration. He deserves to be recognized. He deserves to be honored. He is the one who restores all things. He is shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Have you ever broken something and you gone, oh my goodness, how is that ever going to be put back together? Take your pointer finger, now hold it up. Everybody's got one. You've used it before. Now I want you to point back at yourself. I have been broken, and he is restoring me with nothing missing, nothing broken. But he will only be Prince of Peace who is willing to have him be Prince of Peace. I'll close right here. He's Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, There shall be no end to his increase. What does that mean? He won't be stopped. What he came to do will never be. I'm the church. You're the church. Together, we are a body of believers who have church. But if two of you agree as touching anything, there's power. I alone can put a thousand to flight. My bride and I together, we can put 10,000 to flight. Well, guess what? Somebody jumps in there with us. If Jerry jumps in there with us, We don't go up just another 10,000. We go up to 100,000. It multiplies. Are you hearing me? His kingdom, there shall never be an end. So in this world, as we are living and as we are longing for God to do exceedingly abundant above everything we ask and think, we must long. For Him, we must long for Him to be the wonderful Counselor, to be the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He reminded me again this week, and I said, God, I say as Joshua said, Lord, as for me and my house, As for me and my heritage, as me, as the head, the patriarch, said, Lord, 
as for me and the heritage of Saul B. McClendon. We will serve the Lord. That goes to cousins. That goes to second cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, me and my house. It goes through our heritage. They will serve the Lord. God says, be strong, be bold in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Daily, as you're getting dressed, do, do what we saw in Donut Man. As they're getting dressed, put on the armor of God. When you put on that toboggan in the morning before you go out, put on that helmet of salvation. Come on, are you hearing me? Take up that shield of faith that extinguishes every fire. Carry your sword of the Spirit with you. I told them on Wednesday night, you need to keep one in the car. You need to keep one on your desk. You need to keep one handy where at a moment's notice you're ready with the Word of God to go into battle. Shot our feet with the readiness of the gospel of peace, of shalom. Because God's ready to bring broken people to the kingdom. Everywhere Jesus went, according to the book of Acts, He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil because God was with Him. Stand to your feet, if you will. If you can, stand. If not, you may remain seated. I want you to lift your hands for a second. Who lives inside of you? Who lives inside of you? Jesus. God is with you. God is with you. God is ready to move through you. God is ready to bring peace, wholeness to someone's life through your life. Disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teach them what I have taught you. Father, right now, your children, our hands are raised. We are yours, Lord. We belong to you. You put the breath in our lungs. Thank you, Jesus. You give us this day our daily bread, what we have need of. You are in control of our lives. Father calls us to have divine appointments, calls us to be put in a place, in a position, at a specific time to speak with someone Words of life. We thank you. Jehovah Shalom. You will bring wholeness. First and foremost spiritually. It will manifest in the natural. Wholeness. Deliverance. You came to set the captives free. We call strongholds to be broken. We call prisoners be set free. Drug addicts, alcoholics, be set free. People in bondage, whatever it may be, set free in the name of Jesus. You may be watching this program today and you're saying, Pastor, I don't know this freedom. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he, he loves you. He came to this world as a baby born in a manger. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. He is the only begotten Son of God and He came to this earth to die for my sins and to die for your sins. 
He loves you with an everlasting love. He went to a place of death called Calvary. And he died for my sins and your sins. He took my punishment. I deserve death. And he took your punishment upon himself. He freely did it. After he gave his life, no one killed him. He was buried in a tomb, and on the third day he rose from the dead. He rose back to life so you and I could rise back to new life in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit's tugging at your heart. He sees you wherever it is that you're at right now. He's saying, come to me. I want you to pray this prayer with me. I'd be honored to lead you to the Father. Say, Lord Jesus, I know you're the Son of God. I know you came to this world to die for my sin. And right now, Jesus, I ask you to take my sin away. May I receive your forgiveness. I know you died in my place so that I could have life. On the third day, you rose from the dead. And right now, I rise up in new life. And I choose that from this day forward, I will live for you and serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. As we do each service, we partake of communion together. Jesus died on the cross. It was the time of Passover. And the on the evening before Passover would begin. He met with his disciples in an upper room. He shared the, their last meal together. Jesus picked up the bread and he blessed it, my body, which is broken for you. As often as you eat of it, do it in remembrance of me. So Lord Jesus, as a family gathered at the table of God, we lift up your brokenness and we thank you that you took our place. Your body was beat. You were the sacrifice. That lamb slain from the foundations of the world. And as we prepare to eat this bread, we remember you and what you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. He also lifted up the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. We thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ. For nothing can wash our sins away except the blood of Jesus. You are that lamb, Lord, slain from the foundations of the earth. We thank you that you foreknew us, Lord, of salvation. So right now, as we partake of the cup, we do it in remembrance of you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
there's someone that's been experiencing pain in their right knee, but it's not just on the front of your knee. It goes all the way around to the back. The Lord says He's making you whole. Running up your leg, your, your thigh, down to your knee. He's bringing warmth and a healing. Pain and discomfort be gone. The burning in the toes, gone in the name of Jesus. Lord's wanting to touch someone's eye, your I believe it's your left eye. It seems at one moment you have vision clear, the next it seemed to go fuzzy on you. The Lord's wanting to bring healing. If that's you right now, I want you to come. Maybe someone in this room. Maybe someone watching on the internet. Is that you? Just meet your brother. Your left eye. Put your hand. Father, right now. healing discomfort gone clarity I thank you that it is done. Stand on your word and your promise. In the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. Are you seeing more clearly? Even without your glasses? Hallelujah. Alan, thank you, Lord. He's a healing God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's our God. Hallelujah. They who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I'll say of the Lord, He's my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. For He'll save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He'll cover you and completely protect you with his pinion. And under his wings you'll find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrows that fly by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction, the sudden death that lays waste at noon. 
A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place, no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend you and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They'll lift you up in their hands so that you don't even strike your foot against a stone. You'll tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you're going to trample underfoot. Because they have set their love on me, therefore I will save them. I will be with them securely on high because they know my name. They confidently trust and rely on me and knowing I will never abandon them, no, never. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I'll rescue them and honor them. With a long life, I'll satisfy them and I will let them see my salvation, declares the Lord of hosts. May God bless His Word. Hallelujah. Stand with me and we'll close the service. It's been wonderful having you with us today. We're closing our service as we do every time, every service. We believe in the blessing of the Lord being spoken over God's people and the receiving of the blessing. Blessings were given with a raised right hand. Blessings were received with a raised right hand. Now I pray the Lord will bless you the Lord will keep you. The Lord will make His face shine upon you and lift His countenance upon you and give you peace both now and forever. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. Everything you put your hands to is blessed. Your barns are blessed. Your fields are blessed. Your kneading boards are blessed. The fruit of your womb is blessed. You're blessed when you rise up. You're blessed when you lie down. You're the head. You're not the tail. You're on top. You're not on the bottom. You're the redeemed of the Lord, and the redeemed of the Lord said, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next Sunday. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. We pray the Lord's blessings on you. If you live in the Morganton area, come and be with us. We meet at New Dimensions Charter School at this time. We'd love for you to come and be with us. God bless you. See you next week.